Ha ha, can't sue me. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. One second I'm sitting here minding my own business and then BAM! End of the world. How could something like this happen? I think I heard Sword Art Online was getting another season. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Hello, Payday. Morning, Daddy. I'll kill you, bastards! Oh! Sweetheart, what did Daddy tell you about sneaking up on him like that? Not to. That's right. Now do me a favor, go wake up your mother. Okay. Really gotta start putting a bell on that one. <laughs> Sorry about that, I keep forgetting about the vampire thing. It's cool. Can I ask you something? Sure. If you're a vampire and Dad's a human, what does that make me? A pain in the ass. What? Nothing, give me a sec. That's better. Now, what did you want, sweetie? I was just thinking that that would make me like a hybrid or something. Like Blade or the baby from Twilight. Hidoka, what did I tell you about Twilight? It's racist. That's right. And I won't have it spoken of in this house. Now, come on. Your breakfast is getting cold. Yes, ma'am. Come on. The price is the price. You do not give discounts for top shelf. Honey, what did I tell you about the phone at breakfast? In just a second, sweetheart. Oh, really? Well, then I'll be perfectly frank. If you ever speak to me in that tone of voice again, I'll skin you alive. Fantastic. Well, have a nice day at school. I'll tell your aunt you said hi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, take care. Sweet kid. Okay, good luck with that. I have to get to work. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. All right, you saw that picture change, right? When I saw you at school, like I am right now. Do you remember that? Do you? Do you? Hitomi was there. Remember Hitomi? Yeah, she remembers. And we were walking and talking. And you were like, hi, guys. And I was like, hi, Madoka. Oh, my God. I haven't seen you in so long. Except like yesterday when I saw you at school, like I am right now. Those were such good times. You guys are the best. I love you so much. No homo unless you're into that kind of thing. In which case, good for you. I'm totally not, though. And I don't think I ever will be. I have a boyfriend. And he's super amazing. Well, he's not really my boyfriend. But I hope he will be. He's so cool and talented. And he loves coffee just like me. We totally met at a Starbucks before he went to the hospital. But that was completely unrelated. I mean, at least I think it was. Oh, my God. Unless he, like, developed some sort of allergic reaction to coffee or something. Do you think that's possible? It isn't, right? Oh my god, what if that happens to me, you guys? Ah! Unless he didn't come in for coffee at all and it was just like destiny that we were supposed to meet just like in the fairy tale. Eek! Hitomi, you're being really quiet today. In that class is why you never trust a talking pair of underpants. Sure, he tells you to choose destiny to save the world and promises you treasures beyond your wildest dreams and shirtless men with glowing pink nipples, but when the day is done and the evil is vanquished, where does that leave you? Uh... Naked in a dang's parking lot? Exactly! What's your name? Steve. I don't like it. Change it to something else. Rachel? Perfect! Rachel's absolutely right! You're naked in a dang's parking lot! Dude, I need some of whatever she's got. Huh? <sighs> anyway, class, today we have a new student for whatever reason, and here she is now! Where's that music coming from? Oh. Man, I'd like to get that. Dude, she's like 14. Oh my god, you're right, that's totally creepy. Ta-da! It's Zamora from... somewhere. And... Blah 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 Sword Art Online 3! Madoka, you can scream all you want after class. Hamura, do me a favor and write your name on the board. I'm tripping some serious balls at the stuff I got from Madoka's dad. Wait, what? Nothing, sweetie. Go back to your lesbian fantasy. Why don't you let me take it from here, Cheech? Ginger in the fourth row. What's your name? Madoka? Madoka, I like that. 
You know, I was feeling kind of off today, but you definitely managed to turn me on. Walk with me. Someone help, I'm a background character in an anime, I can't move! So your name's Homura, right? Yep, that's my name. But you can call me Little Caesar if you like. Why? Because I'm hot and ready. I think she was hitting on you. Why would she do that? I don't know, maybe you two were like friends or lovers or something in another dimension or alternate world line in which something terrible happened to you that made her come back to the past at the point of divergence to save you from the horrible fate that had been unleashed on you in the not so distant future because she loves you and can't stand to live in a world in which one of the, the, the fuck. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. What do you think, Hitomi? Oh, I almost forgot I have to pick up a CD for my hospitalized boyfriend. What happened to Shatomi? Who cares? Good point. <laughs> All right. Holy shit. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, oh, oh, not okay. Oh, not okay. Okay. Hey. Hey! Hey! Hey, so glad I got your attention there. And you know, if you're not really doing anything right now, maybe you can do me a favor and stop this crazy bitch! I'm coming, disembodied voice in my head! Wait, what? Warmer. 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 Colder. And boom goes the dynamite. Okay, voice in my head, where are you? Oh, I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Oh my god! Oh, no! Eh, worth a shot. Why would you- Oh my god! I think that was an organ. And now this one shows up. Fan-fucking-tastic. Well, hello, jailbait. Oh, hey! It's you! You brought chains! Yay! Yay is right. You know, you told me your name was Madoka, but are you sure it's not osteoporosis? No. Why? Because you've been giving me a serious bone condition. Yeah, this has been my week. What did I tell you about listening to voices in your head? And it's your thing? Right! Science, bitch! Ow! What the heck is going on? What? Oh my god! Ow! Come on! Burn! Eh, with a shot. Alright people, YouTube and the corporate overlords have deemed the following scenes inappropriate to be viewed by anyone on the internet. So instead we will be showing you this adorable video of a cat trying to get under a blanket. Holy crap, this scene is amazing! It's like Terry Gilliam and Salvador Dali had a nightmare baby and it's punching me in the face! Okay, I think it's over. We can go back to- Oh no, we can't show you that! That's the introduction of an important and interesting character who'll turn into a magical warrior and fight evil monsters! Totally inappropriate for the internet, so say it, the gods of copyright infringement, may they reign for fucking ever! Alright, I think we're good from here. Oh look, it's my favoriteest person in the whole wide world. How lovely to see you! Didn't think to maybe lend a hand? You were looking kind of flabby, thought you could use a workout. Yeah, well, I'm feeling pretty warmed up now. How do you like going a few rounds? Hmm, tempting, but I have some unfinished business with that pussy over there. Wait, she talking about me or you? You mostly, but if Doe Eyes is up for it, I'm not complaining. Gonna take that as a maybe. Well, this has just been lovely, but if you go near either of them, I'm going to break you. Have a splendid day, bitch. That was amazing back there. Thank you so much. Yeah, you were so cool with the flying and the guns and the bang and the boom and the explosions and the theme song playing in the background and you were all like, come at me, bro, and she just ran away like Okay, a this one better have an off switch. <laughs> there you go, good as new. Holy shit. Ow! What the hell? Eh, worth a shot.
Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Well, I think so, Brain, but pantyhose are so uncomfortable in the summertime. No, Pinky, the money. We'll get it from the U.S. government. Ooh. First, we establish a bogus nation. Then, we dupe the State Department out of a huge foreign aid loan. Genius brain! Oh, wait, no. Won't they know we're not a real country? The average American's knowledge of geography is pitiful. They'll think we're part of the former Soviet Union or Canada. 